Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Um, this is going to be a really quick video. I just wanted to share some information with you. Um, being that it's Sunday, I know that a lot of people may be going to church and also a lot of people are not because it's very, very difficult to find a good church. Now, I've been fortunate enough to have found one after quite a long time of searching, but unfortunately they do not do any sort of um, recordings or things like that. So, if you are interested in watching a really good pastor online, I would like to recommend to you Pastor Chuck Baldwin from Liberty Fellowship MT, which is Montana. Um, unfortunately, I do not live in that state, so I cannot um, watch him live, but if you do, go ahead and check him out. And um, if not, like I said, he's available online and he's really, really good. He really sticks to the word. He does not um, pander to any sort of groups. And most importantly, and this is something he rails against about other churches as well, he does not accept the tax-exempt status. He does not have the 5013C status, okay? So you can rest assured that the government is not bribing him or inducing him or prohibiting him from saying anything um, scriptural or um, otherwise. So we have this mistaken idea of what church, separation of church and state means. Now, people think that it's church has no business in matters of the state. Well, that's not true because members of the church are people. They're the citizens. Of course, they have a natural interest in what happens in politics and society and so forth. Of course they do. And a lot of the church folk are donors to politicians. So, of course, they have a natural interest in it. What it actually means, and this appears nowhere in the Constitution, so I don't know where people are getting it from. Where it does appear is in a letter written by Jefferson to the bishops back in England telling them that there will not be accepting any sort of state-sponsored church. They think that that is completely wrong. Church is between man and God. It is not between the state inter, you know, interfering and, um, you know, coercing certain people to attend a certain church or just, like, give a certain message or anything like that. So it's quite incorrect what people's interpretation of it is. I'm going to link to you the actual letter so you can read it for yourself. You can find it on the Library of Congress along with other documents, but I'll just link it for you if you're interested so you can have a look for yourself what the author's actual intentions were, not what the deluded interpretation is. And again, that's why I really like um, Pastor Chuck because he really, really sticks to the message. He does not play games and he you know, he wants people to hear the word so that they can, you know, find salvation. So I really hope that you like him. I'll link his um, channel as well in the description, or if you stay to the end of the video, you can click on his um, subscribe button, excuse me. And um, yeah, that's really all I wanted to say. I, I just hope that people, um, if you can't physically get out there, a lot of the, um, you know, it's like Owen says, the past is the future. People used to just gather at home. In Greek, what we call the word church, ecclesia, it means a congregation of believers, two or more believers. So that could be anyone, you know, who, who believes. So you can get together and have tea and lunch or whatever you want to do. You could do a little potluck, everyone brings something. You have your kids there, you have your, you know, friends, family, you can read the Bible together, you can watch Pastor Chuck or whoever it is that you, you like. And you can discuss it and fellowship that way. So you don't necessarily have to go to these um, types of places if you feel that they're not really being true to the word. And if you do feel that way, maybe it's time that we start putting pressure on these um, priests <laughs> that they um, stop accepting bribes from the government and that they start fulfilling their duty because it is, you know, to shepherd a flock it's a big thing, you know, you, you can either save a lot of people or damn a lot of people. And it's not, you know, it's not about the money. You only need the money to keep the lights on and maybe to, you know, when you give out food and all the rest of it. It's only for the necessities. You do not need a private jet like, was it Joel Osteen or whatever. You do not need um, the fanciest suit or what have you. Th these are the wrong priorities. This is fleshly, worldly stuff. And we are not of the world. We are in the world. And that's what the highest level in the church seems to forget while us mere mortals are um, trying our best to live right. Okay, so like I said, I really hope you enjoy him. Check him out. If you have any other suggestions, if you know any other pastors, please share them because we're always um, happy to learn more. So I hope you found this video helpful. Like I said, I'll link everything you need in the description. 
and um, yeah, like I said, leave some suggestions in the comments. So I'll see you guys soon. Bye!